Sports Master, also known as Lawrence Crusher Croc, is a classic DC Comics villain primarily known for his association with the Green Lantern and later with various members of the Justice Society of America. First appearing in All-American Comics No. 85 in 1947, Sportsmaster is a highly skilled athlete and criminal mastermind who uses his exceptional prowess in various sports to commit crimes and battle superheroes. His weapons often include modified sports equipment such as explosive baseballs, razor-sharp javelins, and booby-trapped footballs. Sportsmaster's character has evolved over the years, often depicted as a former professional athlete whose career ended in disgrace, leading him to a life of crime. He is frequently shown as a member of the Injustice Society, where his tactical intelligence and physical abilities make him a formidable opponent. In addition to his criminal exploits, Sportsmaster's personal life adds depth to his character. He is the father of Artemis Krab, a character who straddles the line between hero and villain, and Tigress, a member of the Injustice Society. This family dynamic is explored in various comic storylines and adaptations, highlighting his complex relationships and motivations. Overall, Sportsmaster remains a distinctive villain in the DC Universe, combining physical prowess with cunning strategy, making him a persistent threat to the heroes he encounters. Hey you everyone! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we take a look at one of DC's Justice Society of America's villains, Sportsmaster. This is part of the latest McFarlane Platinum Edition or Chase figures. Let's start with the packaging. The front of the box states DC Multiverse is Sportsmaster. It has a huge clear window where you can see the figure and everything that comes with it. At the right side of the box, we see the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Sportsmaster DC Classic. The left shows a continuation of the clear window, McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse, Sportsmaster. Finally, the back of the box shows an art, which, if what I heard is correct, is an original art done by McFarlane for this figure. No wonder it looks exactly like the figure. Now, let us crack this thing open and see if McFarlane did justice. To this character in action figure form. The figure scales at 7.5 inches or 19 centimeters. The figure comes with a standard McFarlane art card with a short data file of the character at the back. Standard McFarlane base or stand with the DC logo. A hockey stick. And a baseball bat which he is holding right now. And that's all for your accessories. He doesn't have any alternate hands. Now, let's take a closer look at the figure's sculpt and paint job. This is an obvious reuse or retool of the Dark Detective Batman. Um, now in the box, they say that this is the classic uh, Sportsmaster, but searching the web, this is what I think of when I think of classic sportsmaster so during the pre-order this is actually even the photo that was used by the 
hobby shop where I put my pre-order. And to be honest, this versus uh, this figure, I think this looks cooler. And so what I did is, I, 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 I think this actually also confirms, by the way, that this may be just a art created by McFarlane for this uh, for the packaging because it really looks very much closer to this, which is as I said, is this a reuse of the Dark Detective Batman? So obviously, it doesn't look like the classic Sportsmaster. Now, another version of Sportsmaster that I'm aware of is. This one, the one that is from the, I think this is the one from the Starger series, which again, is not even close to the look that McFarlane made for this figure. But again, honestly, I think this looks better than this one. So I searched Pirate Parter on the web and I saw this. Now, I'm not sure from where this is from. I'm not sure from where this is from, but if you will look at the overall look, it is kind of close to this one. Only this one has this shoulder pad. And his hockey stick is actually more modified to a blade. So kind of hope that McFarlane actually did this instead of this, because this is sports master master. Sorry, sports master looks really cool, but I don't know where this is based from. If you guys know where this art is based from, please leave it in the comment because I think this looks really cool and in a way, it has the same aesthetics as this one. Now. Looking farther, I saw this art, which after looking at the website where I got it, it says that, uh, I think that's the biggest that I can get it. It says that this is from the Young Justice, Young Justice animation. And this is actually close, again, close to this. So again, guys, overall, in a way, I think the way McFarlane retooled this, it looks more closer aesthetically to the Young Justice Sportsmaster and this one, wherever this came from. And yeah, I think I'll accept that this is Sportsmaster. I just won't accept that it is called to calling this a classic you know, a classic version of Sportsmaster. But do I like it? Yeah, because I think this look is more, I don't know, uh, it's more easy, easy to move on. I think this is, uh, this, this costume is more, uh, more feasible for action compared to the, you know, to the classic look and those other versions that it has. And, as I said, aesthetically, I think in a way it is closer to the Young Justice version. Now, obviously, when they do a retool, the head sculpt is the first one that is new. And yeah, I do like this head sculpt for Sportsmaster. It does give a uh, Casey Jones uh, vibe. Am I correct? Is the name of the guy from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Turtle, Casey Jones? I haven't really watched that for a while, but I, it gives me that vibe for Casey Jones. Now, articulation-wise, I think it's because of the way this is designed. It can't, it can't even look up and down, and side to side doesn't really even work. So you can only do it like that. That's the only articulation that is done by this head. So yeah, that doesn't move.
Now for the hands, there's this. So I think this is something new that they added, which is good. I just wish that if you remember the art, they also had a shoulder pad here to make the aesthetic closer to the art of Young Justice. So articulation wise, you can do the T-pose, you can do that. Um, yeah. It has a bicep cut. Then it has double jointed elbow and the two peg wrist. I remember I actually like this mold because when they reuse this for the Midnighter, I love the articulation of that of that figure and I believe that this should have the same because it's the same mold, but somehow mine is a little tight. I'm thinking maybe this is a show of, you know, degradation or depreciation to the mold that they use on this one because it is kind of tight. Maybe this will, it will help on heating this up a little. It will make them a little less tight, but yeah, I, I remember this being more articulated when I was reviewing the Midnighter. So maybe that's a sign of degradation or depreciation of the mold that they use for this because, man, the joints are really tight. The chest armor actually works as a modern version of that armor that that is on Sportsmaster on the Young Justice anime animation so yeah that that actually looks good then there's that a little paint there showing that in a way it's giving the, uh, the illusion that it is a continuation of that to here the leg what i remember actually of this is that this actually has a tie cut which is why i love this mold it's one of those real moments that mcparlane actually gave a tie cut and then this, I don't think anything was changed here because if you, I, I remember this portion, I said that it looks like a bat. So nothing was changed here, I guess. So you can kick, kick that far, you can kick back that far. Double jointed knee. Knees can do that, then it can do that. This a lim uh, this th it is a little limited because of this mold, because of the design. And then it has a tour articulation. Then no, it doesn't have any ankle rocker because, as I said, I think it's because of the design of this portion. And can it do the bend down? Yeah, it can do the bend down pretty well. So articulation wise, it is actually the same as the Midnighter and Dark Detective, only you know with a noticeable I think degradation on the mold because as I said, this is pretty tight. This is pretty tight. Because I remember being amazed by the range of the Midnighter when it comes to the waist and the abdomen cut in this case i'm kind of scared to push it because as i said it is a little tight maybe if i should heat it it will loosen up but yeah i'm thinking that it's a sign up the fact that maybe they need to retire this mold because it's already starting to show signs of degradation overall this is a good retool of the dark detective mold because aesthetically, it the, the look of sport of this figure does comes close to the Young Justice version of Sportsmaster, not the classic one, but the Young Justice one, and yeah, it the figure looks good because as I said, I do love the dark detective mold. My only problem is I think uh, McFarlane should still should check the mold because as I said, the joints on the 
abdominal cut and the waist in my copy are a little too tight which I guess is a sign of you know degradation of their mold now what is my, uh, the, my, my only issue with this figure is that they did not give us an alternate hands it doesn't come with any alternate hands and then the fact that it is a chase variant I don't know why they made this a uh, platinum edition and it's one it's even one of those platinum edition that is in the package included with a completely different figure I'm not sure on how this pro how the process work on this one although in my area uh, if these are if these cheese variants are uh, uh, marketing uh, the way they market this cheese variant continues it, I will get this platinum edition is easier because I can basically pre-order them separately. Now I'm not sure on the limitation of the quantity when it comes to these to this types of chase variants. Anyway, this is a pretty good look, good look, a pretty good looking sports master overall, and I, I, I it is a buy for me because I wanted to add it in my shelf, and I really like the way it looks. It does give gives a Casey Jones vibe, but yeah, after researching the net, he does looks like the Young Justice, uh, Young Justice Sportsmaster, especially this one. Now, guys, if you reached this part of my video, thanks a lot. Uh, if you like my video, please don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe it really helps a lot and again guys enjoy life and keep collecting